most of it's probably mental. You don't like dark places that are wet and uh, you're claustrophobic. You have a bunch of phobias and stuff, but it's not going to be the place for you. All right, welcome to Castle Dome. We're going to go for a tour of this mine. So um, tourists get to visit this mine. It's one of the safest and uh, easiest mines to explore anywhere. So they got that big buggy there. And you can see the portal's all perfectly secured. It's uh, concrete uh, blocks all the way down, so there's no dust or anything. It's all lit up, and you can walk in through there and see all this stuff. So what? there's two things this place is really famous for. This uh, is the 100 level. You can go down. There's a whole bunch of artifacts. We're not going to show you all that. You can see that. That's an, actually an outhouse, a two-seater. And there's the decline going down. So what this place is really famous for is the largest phosphorescent uh, wall in the world. It's truly, you know, it's almost like one of the eight wonders of the world. So um, there's a, a total of uh, 14 different colors. This is all lit up under ultraviolet lights, uh, uh, under mid, uh, long, and medium wave. And uh, it's just just fascinating to see all these colors and, and and see them light up so so that's what you do you uh you on the mine tour there's a whole bunch of artifacts underground so there's two things the castle dome is really famous for there's also you know a whole bunch of buildings and a whole bunch of mine stuff on the surface we're not going to show you that to you this week we'll get into it later so there's two things this mine's really famous for this huge phosphorescent uh wall which is the largest in the world with all these colors and stuff and it's just um you know really the the video doesn't do it justice. Eh? It's just pretty stunning to see all this stuff. Um, and uh, like you say, it's only uh, about 100 feet underground. Um, you just take that buggy right into there and you wander around there and see that. Um, so uh, on this video, what we're going to do is we're going to go below that. This mine goes down a total of 750 feet. Uh, the bottom 450 are flooded. But this mine started in 1861. There's been nobody into a whole bunch of these places. This is a really nasty mine. And we're going to take places where tourists will never go. And actually, nobody's been. And we know for a fact that nobody's been into some of these places. Because um, the second day we were there, um, we uh, made a discovery. And this is the other thing that's going to make this mine really famous. Uh, we found seven pair of uh, Levi's jeans um, that are back from the middle mid-1800s. This mine started in 1861. So here's this, the jeans here. So there's, uh, there's three pair of Levi's. And a couple of pair of Stronghold and a couple other pair. Um, it's, the, it's the most fascinating uh, collection of, of old, uh, really old jeans uh, probably in the world. Uh, nobody's found anything like that. So you can see them inside the mine too. But all right, so let's do some exploring. All right, let's have a look down there. Sounds exciting. Steep and boards. And... All right. You can see how crazy steep this is. Lots of fluoride in here too, hey? There's a level, looks like there's a level right there. That wouldn't be crazy. We can get down there with the ropes pretty easy, so. Bunch of stuff hung up on a, a, some stalls or something there. But we're gonna get down there with some ropes. That's all pretty unstable. There's a bunch of stalls in there. So. Yeah, that looks fine. Piece of track there, eh? That's a railway track there. No, that's fine. They ain't gonna break. That's all solid there, so you know, no problem coming down this way. Yeah. All right, so that was a pretty uh, cool section to explore. So they're just coming back out of there, and we're going to go down the main branch. This is kind of cool going through this place because it's uh, lots of air moving through here. It's uh, not hot at all. There's not many bats, and that's yeah, a little tight, but it's not crazy, and we're not very steep. So we're just kind of scoping this out and see. Uh, there's lots of stuff we need ropes to go straight down, but we just figured we'd try to get some of this easy stuff today. Yeah, there's lots of fluorite in this mine. It's not unusual. Hmm. Pretty patchy in here, eh? The, yeah, they were after a galena. They didn't care about the fluorite. The fluorite ain't worth nothing. They didn't give a shit about that. But there was like silver and lead in here. All right, so there's another little out of here. So emergency escape. Yeah. Well, that's kind of crazy, eh? There's a bit of a, a raise in there. <laughs> Look at the hanging wall here, it's pretty cool. 
on the side here. Yeah. Okay. This goes down. Ooh. Oh yeah. Way down. Oh, too bad we couldn't get across to there, but I don't see no way of doing that. How'd you get across to there? Let's come down. Let's go on this dust emergency escape. I wouldn't think that'd be a good escape. Up in there too. <laughs> I don't see me escaping up that wall. Yeah, there's, there's there. more holes up there. There's more shaft up there oh, too. Uh, that goes down a long ways. Off. Well, that'd be a cool place to rope down oh. into. And look at the mother levels. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. There are all kinds of little levels in there. Man, this is a neat mine. Like a Climb up there wouldn't do any good because it just ends right there. So. Yeah. Huh. All right, so wonder why this railway. Yeah, this is this is the real old part of the mine back in the 1800s that they intersected. Okay, we're in the main hall level, and we now we're gonna head down into the mine using some ropes. Uh, we're gonna descend into the next level, so we need ropes for this one. It's quite steep, so we're going down this air shaft here. Let me get in front of the chair, and we'll have a peek down there. So we're just gonna hook the reason we got our side by side. We're gonna hook our rope up to it. And we're going to head down this uh, fairly steep incline here. Might be a fair ways down. No, this looks like a long ways down from the top. I think we can get up from under this rock just about right away. There's a stall here. I'm gonna put the rope around the stall. Now we're not underneath the rock anymore. That'll be much better. That's the fairways down, yeah. <laughs> Pretty steep. Oh, it's not that far down. You know, I'm saying maybe. Yeah, we can do it. Straight up and down, though, but that shouldn't be a problem, eh? Nope. We've got proper equipment to do it. We can get... I'm just saying it's probably 80 feet. But if we go over to the side, we're not, we're not underneath the, all the rock. See, there's a stall here, so just going around that. So we're not underneath all that stuff on top of us. So it'll be quite a bit safer. Okay, I'm at the bottom. You see it's pretty steep, straight down that rope. And uh, Sharon's coming down. She's way at the top above that stall. So it looks like about 80 feet or so straight down, I'm guessing. That's a 200 foot rope. Go to your right. Go over as far as you can to your right. Keep going to your right. Just walk over to your right. Yeah, and then keep going down. Or you can keep go you can go down further and then go to your right if you want. You're a pretty awesome girlfriend. I couldn't get anyone else to do this with me. <laughs> that a girl. There. It's right here? Yeah. Not very many people have ever been standing in this place in the last 100 years, that's for sure. <laughs> well, I'm just going to climb straight up to you and I'll join you up there. Okay. I was in that section just above there. It looks like there's a level up there. It continues on up. Anyway, so we're here to explore uh, this level. If you just kind of take your time, please, and there'll be a little less dust, I hope. Oh, yeah. There's a level right here. My legs are going to be sore at the end of the day. Make sure you don't touch any of this. Slow. Unstable parts there. Yep. 
Yeah, that's easy. You can hold yourself up for a second. I'll just back up. This is a hot, thirsty, dusty job. Yeah, I almost crawled through all the stuff and crawled up this little hole, but that would have been a lot more work. <laughs> yeah. Whew. Oh, well, there's another little passage to the left here. But we can't go to the left. Huh, too bad. Looks that's where you're yeah. going to come up? Yeah, that's where I would have come up. I was debating whether that was worth the trouble. This is a hell of a lot easier. If you fall, it's no big deal. You're not going to go very far, but I'm going to stand right underneath you. So if you do fall, just jump into my arms or under my head or something. No way to get over there. I don't think you'd want to anyways. Hmm. Hopefully get some pressure air here somewhere soon. Hmm. Oh, dust is just crazy in here. Hmm. Gotta grow. There's a tarantula spider in there. I'm gonna move that. He's right behind that bottle. See him? There he goes. Oh, he's ever big. Oh yeah. Well, that looks like it might be phosphorescent. Phosphorescent. We should probably take and uh, get our UV light and see what that looks like. Pretty good colors in here, as you can see. I figure out if we can. Oh, really purple in here. Blue, some of that green stuff. Looks really cool. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Well, that $75 investment for that black light is a pretty good deal. I know people keep saying I should bring a, a UV light in. This is just with a really cheap uh, lamp. Does a pretty nice job though. Oh, lots of real purple in here. And again, we'll show you what we're looking at here. That's it. We're just looking at this stuff here. And that's what it looks like under the light. It goes down to another level there. You can walk down or? Nope. <laughs> yes or no? No. Well, steep. Real steep and a whole bunch. Of, it's not even safe to rope down because... Come have a look. Got all this loose stuff here on this lip. Like we got enough rope we could drop down there, but... It's yeah. not safe because you got all this loose stuff here. Oh. It goes down quite a bit more there. Trouble is, see, we could be standing on top of something like that. Mm -hmm. Oh, there's an old rope there, see? Old hemp rope. Yeah. Look, there's some old ladders there, really sketchy. And you can see the top of the stone way up there. There's the top of the deposit there. It goes off that way, too. Oh, it's a pretty big stone. Still smiling? <laughs> She's a challenge. All right, so as you see, it's not very steep going down, but we've got to watch these rocks. There's lots of little loose rocks, but it's not really steep. The stall, or the stall is good. I can almost jump on that stall. See this? Ah, ah, ah. Okay. That was scary. Yeah, it looks like it gets steeper. Yeah, sounds it. Oh. I'd say come back. No, I can get across. <laughs> See this? Oh. Mm. Yeah, it looks like it gets steeper. Oh, no, I can get across. I'll have a look here. Now, what about going across this way? Now, that'd be kind of cool. 
Let me just take my time. The stall's good. As long as the stall is good, seems to be. Oh, yeah, that's solid. Oh wow. Now it goes down a long ways, man. Oh, oh. Holy, there's big boulders down there. Holy. Huge boulders down there. I want to see a newspaper down there. Pretty sketchy getting down there though. I mean, if you had a rope going across here, you could do it, but well, that's a long ways down. Let's see what's up here. Goes up a little bit more into another little pocket. Oh yeah. Can you see my feet? Am I safe to just back up? I'm safe to back up, right? I think we're good. How close are we to that big wall? We're right on the edge of it. No, no. Oh yeah, we are. <laughs> right on the edge of that big wall. Okay. Okay, so now I gotta make my way across there again. I did it once. <laughs> okay. The wall is really scabby, eh? That's why I call this video Beyond the Mine Tour. This is uh, way beyond the mine tour. I'm glad to be able to show it to you guys. Because <clears throat> I don't imagine you guys want to be doing it. <laughs> I did now. Woohoo! Man, that's pretty exciting. Maybe I got a strange idea of excitement. Mm -hmm. <laughs> if you go a little slower, it might help. It's pretty dusty. Mm. Oh, that's dust. Oh. Got a girl. Where are you, Shane? Oh. All right, let me know when you're clear, and I'll come. Just hang on. Seems to go straight up and down. Does that look straight up and down? <laughs> think, yeah. Not quite. It's it's not crazy steep. It goes down though. Yeah, so I'm not sure how much further down. She's a bad bitch doing that stuff, boy. Oh, yeah, she's got balls. <laughs> <laughs> Don't hear her calling her bad bitch though. She get mad at you. That together was a good. That was a compliment, <laughs> not a. <deal>. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Is there? You see some place to get off or in somewhere? Just keep going down. No. You want to just keep going down or? Okay. We got lots of rope. I hope we ain't not. All right, so we've reached this uh, level here, and well, Sharon let us down here, so. We had to come down here and see what she was doing down here. So, so that's where we came down, so I guess that's a little steep, eh? <laughs> the stove goes across there, and uh, that's where Shane is. He's over there. He's checking out this part. Just look at that stall there. It burned, so they had a fire in here at one time. Oh, yeah. huh. oh wow. Looks interesting. <laughs> Let's explore this level here. You can come with us. Yep. I mean, we could probably take a ladder and catch it with something, but... Mm. There comes Sharon. Okay. Try not to touch the walls if you can help it, because it just makes a lot more dust. Guess all you can do is breathe through your nose. And... Now this is a really challenging mine and most anyone will tell you there's not many people that would 
do to that say sun is still a long ways down. I don't know how far we are. It's supposed to be 240 feet straight down. Going down is definitely the easy part. <laughs> Going up is a little tougher. All right, so Sharon's heading up with the. We're not using a foot loop, but it's not crazy steep there, so that's what we say anyhow. So I'm going to step back because that is a big boulder <laughs> just above you. And if it falls, I'm going to need some time to jump. <laughs> that is a big boulder, isn't it? Hope it doesn't come loose. Well, if it does, it actually probably won't come this way. It'll go the other way. Oh, wow. Now that's like all that, that uh, cactus I was telling you about, eh? Yeah. And then there's a hole. Looks pretty neat. Oh, yeah, it doesn't go down too far there. I want I don't this. Know if it goes, is it just a hole or does it go a ways? There you go. <laughs> <laughs> That's how you do it. Don't fall down the shaft now. That's how the professionals do it. <laughs> Here you go. I know you need oh, that. Oh, thank you. That give you a good workout? <laughs> yep. <laughs> I need a fist pump. <laughs> All right, so this is the end of the mine tour, and we're heading up. There we go. We're going to climb up here and show you guys what's above the, the end of the mine tour. Yeah, it's kind of cool because we've got some other raises in here. So they built this, uh, yeah, this is really neat. Look at all those nice ladders and stuff. They built all this up here to secure the catwalk stuff. Look at that mineralization in there. Hey, Gabe. Wow. Pretty cool, they lots of lead and silver and glean in here, and that's the vein going straight up. And this, they kind of figured this is a little unstable, I guess. And they just built this up here to keep any rock from falling on the tourists. And you see a little bit of rock has fallen, not very much. But look at that vein. Oh, that's pretty cool. Wow. That is shiny. They're pretty shiny, so there's lead and you know, the silver and a bit of zinc. You know, this is not particularly rich, but you know, that's what they're mining in here. All right, I see light. <laughs> I hope it's yours. Come up here. Oh, what's, a, what's it like up there? There's a scaling bar here. Scaling bar. Oh. I'll post it for you if you fall. <laughs> post bail? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Don't let go. Oh, that's not bad. There you go. Just aim for that. From here, it's not very far to fall. Man, you are way up there. Okay. Oh. Now, maybe I should take that. Your thing fell. This is the top of the air shaft that goes the only way that we know up to get down to the 220 level where we found the jeans. So Gabe Romo is the guy that was with me that when we found the jeans. And he was also with me last year. He went down to Mexico down a 550 foot shaft. So he's pretty a uh, pretty good climber. Um, so yeah, we're gonna show you where the jeans came from. They came down from this level. Um, if you want to watch the video about the jeans. Uh, we had a whole video about it last week, so just look uh, look at the channel there, uh, follow the link, and uh, you can watch the video that we shot of when we found these, you know, three hundred thousand dollars worth of jeans, um, you know, uh, old old jeans way back from the eighteen hundreds. It's pretty amazing to find, and uh, like I say, pretty tough getting down here. It's a long, steep, narrow, and dusty place that no one's been into, you know, for uh, at least a hundred years. I'm gonna throw it down. Is it heavy? Not going to land on my head? Okay. Alright, here it goes. Yeah. <laughs> oh, cool. The Prince Albert uh, tobacco can. Tin. Yeah. yeah, nice shape too. Okay, we're at the 250 level, which is the main hall level. And um, pretty dusty in here because we had to throw a lot of stuff down. And we're just going to go for a little walk. I can feel pretty good airflow coming from this way, so it's going to be less dusty. Mm, hard on the lungs, you know? 
So I've got a railway here. Here's some dynamite boxes, really small box. And um, this is where the telephone, when they had the drill holes, they would push that in the, the drill hole in the telephone or power cable. Well, there's part of an old ore cart, I think. And that, yep, to the wheel. Oh, wheel from an ore cart. Mm. Now we're on this false floor that we're walking on, but it all seems to be really solid. Look at all those beams that It's only about eight there. feet. Yeah, all the stalls in here. There's a whole bunch of other lamp levels and stalls. And we can climb up through them stalls. Oh, look at that rocked up bell. This will be fun walking along here, though. Because we can zigzag our way up here really easy. This is pretty sketchy. I don't know if we should go any further on this part. I'm worried about it. Oh, it's all broken down. Oh man, it fell down there. There's a huge slab that's just barely sitting here, like a really big slab. Oh, really? If we touch it, we can bring it down. All right. Really unstable. Slowly go back. It's all really unstable here. And then we're gonna go up that board. See that next slab of rock on the left, on your right? This? Look how unstable that is. It's just a big crack. You could yeah. actually bring that down by touching it. So I wouldn't touch the sides. All right. You don't have to. Just take your time. Because that's what's happening here. The sides are peeling off. See, there's a there's a two by twelve just ahead of you. Uh, yep. It looks like it goes up at a. Yeah, we can get on there and just and just go up it, right? Yep. Check out how all this is being held up. By a I know how much of it caved in. <laughs> oh, I see. That's all. That was all held up here. <laughs> wow. That looks like a pretty Mickey Mouse uh, <laughs> scribbing job, doesn't it? Looks like some kid was paying Jenga or something here. Yeah. It's all being held by these couple of these stalls in the bottom, but but look, there's big chunks of rock that fell and it's still hold it's still holding. Holy jeez, look how unstable that is. That's terrible. Yeah. There's no way we should go up there. Oh, look at the rock above me. Big rock right here. See this guy here? Yep. Let me just drop this one yeah, down. Yeah. See what happens. <sighs> so there's the false floor that we were walking on. But it's all really good and solid. I'm going up to them higher levels. Pretty interesting stope, but it was pretty unstable. Up there a lot of stuff fell. I don't know how recently, but hmm. Keep going if you want. Hmm. Wonder if that was for a firing line. Hmm. I think it was. <laughs> Use that to set the explosives off. Hmm. You know, they just sit back there, load the holes with electric blasting caps. They could sit back there and then just flick the switch and it would blow off.